A few months ago, Arcos announced something that absolutely changes the game when it comes to using their shot tracking system. It has made using it way more convenient, it's made it way more fun, and honestly, when you compare it to the other shot tracking systems out there, it just makes it that much even better, even though it was already my favorite system to use. Don't get me wrong, the uh, Garmin S62, it's one of the best GPS watches on the market, but it's 500 bucks. If you want the CT10 sensors to go along with it, you're looking at like $800 for the Garmin setup. ShotScope X5. Not bad, it's only $299, the watch works pretty well, but you can't do anything in real time. You have to edit all of your rounds after the fact. Well, you might be saying, well, with Arcos, you don't even have a GPS watch. Well, that's where this, the Apple Watch comes in. And especially now with the updates, if you pair the Apple Watch with the Arco shot tracking system, it pretty much blows everything else away. That's what we're talking about in today's video. If you've been in the market for either a GPS watch or a shot tracking system, keep watching, you're gonna enjoy this one. All right, so if you follow Breaking 80 for any length of time, you know by now that I love Arcos. I've played hundreds of rounds with it. The user interface is excellent, and I truly think it is the best shot tracking system out there. But one of the big complaints so many people have had is that you have to have your phone in your pocket in order for it to work. I get it, that's not for everybody. And then the Link, which is their solution to that, it works, but you gotta spend an extra 100 plus dollars, you gotta remember to charge it. It's, you know, a little bit cumbersome in that regard. And so that brings us to the Apple Watch. The Arcos Golf app for the Apple Watch is absolutely incredible and it continues to get better. And specifically, they've made one update that is going to get a lot of people off the fence and probably over to the Arcos system. What's that update? You can now start a round directly from your watch. So you don't need your phone, you don't need to fumble through any GPS menus, you literally get to the first tee, you open up the Arcos Watch app, you hit start round, you pick the course, you pick your tees, and away you go. You don't have to use your phone for anything if you don't want to throughout the course of the round. And I gotta say, I've been testing it out lately and it works. It works really well. I assume by now you know what Arcos is all about, but if not, it's basically a shot tracking system where you add a sensor to the butt of every single one of your clubs, you pair it with the app, and they have GPS mapped every single course in the country. Just about. So from there, it knows exactly where you are on a given course. So if you hit your driver and then you hit a seven iron in the middle of the fairway 250 yards later, it knows your drive was in the fairway and it was 250 yards. So at the end of your round, you can see every single shot you hit. You can get every statistic around GIR, FIR, directions you miss, short, long, strokes gained for a number of different aspects of your game. Uh, it's pretty unbelievable the amount of data that you get. But for a lot of people, having your phone on you, it gets in the way, it can be a little bit cumbersome, but with the new app updates on the watch, it's getting even better. So the Apple Watch has shot detection directly built into the watch. It uses a combination of sound and the accelerometer to be able to know when you've made a swing. And that's nothing new. You've been able to do that for years. You just had to start your round on your phone first. And just because you've been able to do it for years, it doesn't necessarily mean it's always been a seamless experience. So I had an Apple Watch Series 4, and every time I tried to use shot detection with just the watch, uh, I would usually run out of battery life sometime around the like 16th, 17th hole. Sometimes I would finish the round, but then my watch would be dead for the rest of the day. But if you're using a newer, a Series 7, a Series 8, or especially this one, the Apple Watch Ultra, you've got plenty of battery life and it really, really works well. So specifically when you're using it, there's like five screens. There's a screen that allows you to keep score, so you can easily click any hole, you can adjust shots, you can adjust putts. It's very easy to make sure that you've got the correct number of shots tracked. Then you've got one that specifically tells you the direction of the wind to help you with that. You've got your main screen, which is going to give you an accurate GPS distance as well as a AI adjusted distance. So Arcos knows based on all of your statistics and all of your data, how far you hit each club. And so what it's going to do is it's then going to make an AI recommendation that takes into account all of your statistics as well as the course you're playing and the elevation and the wind and the weather and all of those things. And it is going to make a recommendation based on that. If you don't want the AI recommendation, no problem. You get distances to front, middle, and back of the green right there next to it. It will also suggest what club you should hit based on all of your distances and all of the data it knows about you. Another major screen you're going to find on the Apple Watch app is the current hole you're playing. 
So just like the scorecard view where you can click on a hole and get all of the details for the shots you've hit, there is a screen specifically for the current hole you're on where it's gonna show you how far your drive was, what shots you've hit, how many putts you've had, and so on. But despite how great it is to be able to start the round directly from my watch, there is one new feature with the Arcos Apple Watch app that is completely game-changing. And that is being able to set the pin location with the touch of a button. So for years, even though Arcos could tell you, yeah, this is how far your drive was, this is how far your approach was, and all of those things, one of the areas where it struggled is knowing exactly where the pin is. So when it comes to putting and when it comes to approach shots, it was kind of difficult to get the actual information that you needed. For a while, you've been able to go in and manually set the pins within the app, but that's pretty cumbersome and it's tough to get it exactly right. But now, and you can do this with the app, but it's much more convenient and usable with the Apple Watch, you can walk up to the green, you can stand right next to the pin and you hit a button that says set pin location so Arcos knows exactly where the pin is. That's going to allow you to get detailed information about your approach onto the green and every single putt you hit. So all of a sudden all of the information Arcos is getting is so much more valuable because it is even more accurate than it was before. So after a couple rounds of playing just using the Apple Watch app and not using my phone, overall I am a huge Fan. It worked really well, it was seamless, every time I wanted to set the pin location it was very easy to do, but there are a couple drawbacks that I've found. Let's say for some reason Arcos misses a shot. So you're in the rough on the seventh hole and you hit a seven iron and it misses that shot. It doesn't track it for whatever reason. If you want to go back in and add that, you can't really easily do that on the watch. You're going to need to use that with the app. And for me, I like pairing the two. I like being able to have the phone in my app, I like being able to review and see the GPS over view, get a little bit of extra data, but a lot of times if I'm playing at a private club or I'm playing at a place where I don't want to have my phone out all the time, being able to use the watch is an absolute game changer. So in those cases, I just have to remember if Arcos does miss a shot, I'm going to have to go back and edit that after the round. I will say that in three rounds of using just the watch, it has only missed one shot like that. So it really hasn't been that big of a deal for me personally. The other drawback you will find when you are just using the watch is that it can be difficult to get information from for hazards. That's one of the great things about watches like the X5 or the Garmin S62, or really most GPS golf watches on the market, is it's very easy to get hazard data. So if I need to know how far it is to clear that bunker, I can look at my watch, I can get that data. So Arcos is not giving you hazard data within the watch. If you have your phone open, you can easily get that information within the app to figure out how far it is to clear water or bunkers or anything like that. But if you're only using your watch, you're not gonna have that hazard data available to you. But aside from those two things, Honestly, I have been so impressed with the Arcos app on the Apple Watch, and specifically the Apple Watch Ultra. There's a few things that have made this just a much better watch on the golf course than any other Apple Watch I've used before that. And a couple of those things are the better battery life, the bigger, brighter screen, and the way they have designed the crown. So with my older Apple Watch, I would often get into my backswing and I would accidentally initiate Siri with the crown here. And with the new design of the Apple Watch Ultra where it's a little bit more recessed, I'm not having that happen. So between battery life, screen quality, crown design, and the updated Arcos app, honestly, this is my favorite golf GPS on the market and it's not even close. So I fully understand Arcos is not for everybody. Some people aren't Apple users. Some people don't want an Apple Watch. Some people don't want to pay for the $155 a year subscription. And I get all that. And there's a lot of other great options that are out there, specifically the Garmin and the ShotScope, which we've talked about, uh, that are going to be a great fit for you. But from my perspective, from my opinion, having used all of these devices extensively, Arcos is the best shot tracking system on the market. And Arcos with Apple Watch is my favorite GPS solution as well. So take that for what it's worth. I know you're probably watching this and you're like, oh, you're such an Arcos fanboy, da da da. I'm a fanboy because I love the product. I wouldn't have played 300 plus rounds with it if I wasn't legitimately a fan. So take all that for what it's worth. If you do decide to pick up Arcos, you can use the coupon code below. You're gonna save 15% on either the grips or the sensors or the link, whatever you buy from Arcos. I will get a small commission on that, but honestly, and I say this with all sincerity, I just love the product. I think it is that good, and especially with the Apple Watch, it is, uh, it's truly the best product of its kind on the market. 
So with that, my name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Breaking 80, where we do cool golf course reviews and product reviews. If you have any questions about this combination or any of the other shot trackers on the market, drop a comment below. I'll do my very best to answer every single one. And uh, if you go over to breaking80.com slash hi, get on our newsletter. We've got one or two emails a week with all of our latest course and product reviews. I think you're gonna dig it and you can unsubscribe at any time. With that, I hope you have an excellent day. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.